Finally here tonight, a story about dreams coming true, in this case very early, with a little talent and a lot of hard work. At this weekend's Drum Corps International World Championships in Indianapolis, a young drummer from Tucson is playing with the big kids. Jill Wagner has his story. The musicians and dancers in this ensemble fit together like pieces of a puzzle. Keep an eye on this drummer. Brandon Oglander is just 16. He's the youngest snare drummer in the Blue Devils Drum and Bugle Corps. My uncle had a pair of old drumsticks in his house. Brandon started at age 10. I just took some drumsticks and was beating away on a chair. Even then, he dreamed of becoming part of this core with the most world championship. Change your hands in the middle of the single. He first got in front of Blue Devils instructor Scott Johnson at a camp in California at age 11. We had the center snare drummer lower the drum as low as he could. Brandon stood in there and played through this exercise that we just played and everybody, including myself, was in shock. Johnson says he's never seen someone so young with so much talent. This video from the following year went viral. He has the hands of a 21-year-old. But even though his hands could keep up, Johnson felt Brandon was too young. It may look easy, but Indiana State University analyzed a drummer in 2005 and found that the physical demands rival that of athletes, with heart rates as fast as sprinters and oxygen intake, like marathon runners. I was kind of disappointed, especially last year, but I think I used that to um, reignite my determination for this year. This year, Brandon beat out nearly 100 other snare drummers. Since then, this Tucson, Arizona native has traveled 11,000 miles and logged thousands of hours of practice. Even more grueling for a teen who battles scoliosis, a curvature of his spine. Being able to perform for thousands of people and to know that you're making their night enjoyable is one of the best feelings in the world. Brandon and his Blue Devils are the odds-on favorite heading into the Drum Corps International Finals tonight. Win or lose, Brandon is living his dream one beat at a time. Jill Wagner, CBS News, New York.